not a true freedom at all, but a tyranny that reduces human beings to slavery. The March for Life is, for me, a chance to show the rest of the country and the rest of the world that abortion is not acceptable and it's not allowed and that life is sacred from the moment of conception to the moment of natural death. The March for Life is a way to get involved in the uh, pro-life movement and make an impact on our government so that they will implement policies and laws um, that are sympathetic towards the unborn um, in America. It's a good way of, of really convicting ourselves, um, um, further convicting us towards like, this cause and, and it's great it's a day for prayer and everything. The March for Life to me is a sign of hope in a culture that does not embrace the sanctity of life. Um, but it is awesome. You get to see so many youth, so many um, Catholics, so many Christians, so many Jews, so many Muslims, people all in defense of, defense of life. Um, so for me it's a sign of hope in, in this culture of darkness. And the march to me is a great way to uh, just show our country, show our government that uh, I do care about my faith, I do care about my moral values and my stand for life. It's a great way to be uh, in support with other Christians. That I'm willing to sacrifice for, for those who don't have a voice and wanting to show that there are people who care and who are willing to do something for others. Um, and it's also a way to unite with, uh, with all the other people who are pro-life and um, be together in that community of love. I think the real choice to make is to choose life, so that's why I'm here. I want to march to the Supreme Court today and say, this is worth doing. This, I went to the Holocaust Museum yesterday. I read a whole billboard about why are the doctors who experimented on human beings and killed them for medical purposes and for no reason at all. Why didn't they get punished more? And we'll build that, but we'll let an innocent child who cannot speak for himself be killed simply because he can't speak. A child with a heartbeat and blood pumping through his veins. And I'm like, why aren't we standing up as a nation and saying, stop, stop doing that. You are the, you are the voice of this. You are the voice. has just been completely stripped of God's love when it comes to sex and fertility. And when I finally understood that in 1973, lives, lives were turned into laws. Not just those who kill who are enslaved, but everyone who sees and does nothing. And that's when I realized that this, being for life, is the biggest human rights issue of our time. It's not just a social issue. When you have life, you have to be thankful to God and to recognize that this gift is sacred. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. We get to show our support for life. Who doesn't like life? Come on. Every different faith is here, all believing that life is a sacred gift of God and it should be protected at, at all stages. Amen. I think the March for Life, what it means to me is a day for people to come together and sort of unite for life. Walk for Life is uh, a chance to gather up with the brothers and sisters in Christ and just uh, protest against one of the most heinous crimes against humanity. And it's just an opportunity to come together as one, as uh, Christians united, and just say that we, we won't stand for it. So uh, we hope by this, this nonviolent protest that we can spark change in this world. It's good. Uh -huh.